Hello! We are Current Energy, your solar thermal specialists. In this video, we will show you how to assemble our PHAS-180 evacuated tube system. First thing you will need to do is open the packaging. Here you can see we have laid out all the parts and pieces to ensure everything is accounted for and undamaged. You will want to assemble the frame on a flat surface, such as a driveway, and avoid assembly in areas where small pieces, such as nuts and bolts, may be misplaced, such as your lawn. Parts included are three front and three rear legs, with the former longer than the latter, six feet, four back braces, one bottom bracket, six leg braces, three long, three short, one top brace, 20 cups, three tank supports, nuts and bolts. When putting the frame together, we recommend that you initially hand fasten all nuts and bolts. Firstly, you will need to attach a rear leg to a front leg. To do this, you will bolt a tank support to both legs. Note that at either end of the system, the tank supports should face polished side out. You will also need to install a short leg brace while attaching the tank support, as they share a bolt. Once in place, install the remaining longer leg brace by attaching it near to the base of the front and rear leg. When this is completed, continue to assemble the remaining legs and leg braces. With the legs assembled, you should proceed to attach the front legs together with the bottom bracket. The bottom bracket can be identified by its multiple slots. The smaller slots should point upward toward the tank, the larger downward toward the ground. Next, move the top brace in place and begin to fasten it to the front legs. With the top brace secure, continue by attaching the back braces. Take two back braces and bolt them together at their center point. Continue to do this with the remaining two back braces. The back braces will bolt to the back of the rear legs and will share a bolt on the center rear leg. Now that the frame is assembled, it is time to attach the tank. Firstly, remove the tank from its packaging if you have not already done so. It is easiest to move the tank with two people. Mind that you do not move the tank by its fittings as this can damage the tank. Place the tank on a flat surface and remove the nuts and bolts from the tank. Then, move the tank into place onto the tank supports. Once in place, tighten the nuts and bolts of the tank by hand. The tank is comprised of three parts, the inner tank, which will hold the liquid, an insulation layer, and the outer casing. With the tank in place, it is time to insert the tubes. Firstly, slide a black gasket onto the tube. When inserting the tube, guide the copper head into the tank. You may need to pull the heat pipe out of the tube slightly and guide it into place, and then insert the tube. Still holding the tube firm, re-thread the other half of the plastic cup. You should install two tubes, one on either end of the system, to ensure that it is squared up before installing the remainder of the tubes. Here you can see how the tank attaches to the tank supports, allowing the angle of the tank to be adjusted to square up the system. You can tell the system is square when the gap between the tank and the tube at the tank opening is equidistant along the whole of the circumference. When you are satisfied the system is square, proceed to tighten the nuts and bolts with a wrench. Mind you do not over tighten lest you damage the tank or frame.
holding a tube firmly, insert it into an opening on the tank, while gently oscillating and pushing upward. Never force a tube, as you may damage it or the gaskets in the tank. When you are satisfied the tube is in, slide the base of the tube into its respective cup. To attach the cup, simply slide it over the base of the tube, inserting the top plastic clip into the smaller top slot. The bottom clip will need to be pinched while being inserted into the bottom slot. Once inserted into the bottom slot, release your grip and it will lock into place. Still holding the tube firm, re-thread the other half of the plastic cup. With the tubes in place, you can now slide the gaskets upwards so they are flush with the tank. It is best to lubricate the top part of the tube with soapy water to allow the gaskets to slide easily into place. Whenever you are adjusting any of the fittings on the tank, it is a good idea to drain the tank first in order to avoid scalding. On the top of the tank is a fitting which can be used for venting and filling the tank. An assisted tank may also be threaded to this fitting to ensure the tank is always full and never overpressurized. The tank has multiple fittings, the two you see here attached to the copper coil which is inside the tank. The copper coil allows you to have pressurized potable hot water. There are two fittings on the base of the tank. One is typically fitted with a ball valve and used as a drain, while the other can be capped or used to fill the tank. The fitting on the other side of the tank, seen here, allows you to have a backup electrical element inserted into the tank.